Sabah everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you guys a quick TV mod that will change the way you watch TV from now on. It's an LED strip that plugs into your TV, but it has a trick that makes it very unique. This is TK, let's check it out. So this is gonna work with 40 to 60 inch TVs. Uh, there are other kits that will work with smaller TVs, but for me, I'm pretty much at the beginning of it. I have a 40 inch TV here from Samsung. Uh, it's a USB music LED TV lighting, and that's pretty much the main benefit here. It responds to audio outputs out of your TV as it has a built-in microphone. The model number is U2M4AC109W. It's a USB DC 5 volt, so it'll work with any USB port that you have on your TV. Uh, color, it has eight static colors, four flashing modes, and four music modes, and we'll show that to you guys on the remote. Here are the items included in the box. Uh, they do provide us with a quick instruction manual here explaining that the IR receiver, and I'll show that to you guys, needs to be exposed to the front as the remote will not work without it. Um, they also provide us with four different settings. If you have a 42 to 46, which 40 to 46, they recommend you going in the S shape pattern or the snake pattern, as opposed to where you are at 46 and 50, you're supposed to go into the square. And of course you have 50 to 60 as that's the maximum you can get. Just go over and then do the upside down U, kind of an N shape. So here's the actual hardware. We do have a remote. Here's the four different music modes that they mentioned. We also do have jump, uh, sorry here, uh, jump three, seven, fade, fade, and then some different uh, lighting effects. We'll get a chance to check those guys out. And as, as far as the actual color presets, you can jump on them and of course on and off. The next thing here we have is a 3M, a 3M tape used for the actual controller box to be able to stick it to the back of your TV. Now this is going to be powered via USB. So they do provide us with a USB type A to power connector that you will connect to the back of this. And this will connect it, basically stick to the back of your TV. Uh, and then we have two different cables here, pretty much one of them is the IR blaster and that's gonna be interfacing with our remote. So always make sure that this is exposed in some way so that the remote can actually talk to the uh, controller. Uh, last but not least, we have the connector. We have one lawn strip. There's four pieces actually inside of this entire lawn strip. So they're pre-cut and we're gonna be installing them on the TV. Uh, and then of course, connectors to be able to twist. They recommend you not to twist these guys because these guys have the LED strips in them. You'll notice right there and they say go this way. You can be, if you're gonna connect the, uh, the options here, you put them together and you put them in, make sure they face the right direction. And now you're facing the arrow in the right direction. And then this piece will connect um, onto here. I'm going to go ahead and mount this to the TV that I have here in the office. I have a 40 inch Samsung TV. I went ahead and divided all pieces. There's one, two, three, and then here's four. Uh, so they're ready to go. The main thing I want to do, of course, is just remove the 3M tape on the back of each one and they all have them pre-applied so we don't have to worry about putting anything on. And then align them into the position that I want and then I'm going to be using these connectors to connect these three pieces together as well as the fourth one and then the last one will plug directly into the actual controller at the end as that'll be my main connector and then of course connecting usb will be for power i went ahead and connected it and as you can see the lighting looks really nice now i obviously i'm trying to match the color of the image right now but i could change it over to let's say uh, more of a reddish tone go to blue or green uh, again, you have different colors that you can go and these are static colors and of course you can turn on some of the pulsating lights and that's just normal pulsating by itself, not responsive to music. And of course you could change that a little bit more of a fade that has like a little bit of a glow effect. Again, really nice, very nice ambience. Now if I'm playing this just as this uh, U-Log kind of a back backdrop, it looks really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on. This is the music setting. Now it's pulsating by normal and I'm going to go ahead and start the song. And then we have three different options. Now this is a pulsating music responsive. You'll notice it keeps changing with the music. And it's pretty bright. Of course, the dimmer the room, the better the lighting is going to be. And that's what it ranges into. Now it's more of a hap uh, faster response. And now this is the third one. This is more responsive, but it's more flickering. Just follow the pattern corresponding to your monitor and you're pretty much set. Uh, as you saw, the dimmer the room, the better the response or at least the ambient light will look. Uh, for me in the office here, actually it pretty much lights up most of my office so I can have it like a nice dim lighting when I'm watching a movie or even playing a game. Uh, the main thing you want to be aware of, of course, is just follow the instructions, install it and enjoy. The microphone on this is not super sensitive, so it needs to have a little bit louder music for it to be very responsive. Otherwise, just set to the preset that you want or turn it off if you don't need it. Now, the other thing I want to mention, unless your USB port shuts down when your TV turns off, meaning it goes into hibernation, 
um, the actual LEDs will not turn off. So you do need the remote to turn it on and turn it off, which I think is a positive because then you can actually turn it on when you want it. And if you just want to watch your TV normally, you could turn it off and keep it off. So it works both ways for me. Uh, and again, the instruction and the information they gave us in the packet was very accurate and very simple. $10.99 off of Amazon. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual, and I'll see you guys in the next video.